Well, hello there, and welcome to 37 Ridgepoint Drive. We're going to do one of Darren's walkthroughs here, um, especially with lockdowns and so on occurring. This will give those people who can't make it to an open or in a state and stuck down there a chance just to have a look at what all of this property has to offer. Uh, it is a very unique one. We're in the suburb of Canubia. I'll do a little bit of talk about that at the end. Uh, we are in a cul-de-sac location. Um, it's actually a cul-de-sac of a cul-de-sac, so you only get people here if they really, really want to be here. So it's a four bedroom, two bathroom, three living space configuration with an in-ground swimming pool and some space out the back, which we'll get to in a moment. So as usual, you don't want to be looking at Darren, you want to be looking at the property, so we'll tour. There's our nice, quiet cul-de-sac. Crow flying past. And away we go through our front door. So, the first thing you'll notice is that we are a split level design giving very high line ceilings through all of the living spaces. And the configuration of the house basically has accommodation along one side and then living along the other. So just to give you a feeling of that, and again, orientate you, pretending you're here for an open. Down the hallway to your right hand side, you've got all the accommodations, a study nook there, which we'll show you in a moment. And then down to the left, we have our living spaces, which I'll take you through in a moment. So let's start bedroom number four is actually an oversized room, a tiled ceiling fan, and then you see all the way along, full length built-in robes. Very bright and airy. I can tell you the outside is rather dark and ominous. It's looking like it's about to start raining. So that gives you a feel about how bright this house is. Move to bedroom number three. Again, full size, overhead fans, and the built-in robes. We move our way along the hall. I'll go to bedroom two first. So now this house was actually built for and lived in by the same family the whole time. So it was built with their family in mind and there are some fantastic touches that actually help with that. So as we're showing here, bedroom number two has the overhead fan, has the full length built-ins as well. So the first feature which they built in for their family was an actual functional study nook in the hallway, and this is where the teenage kids were doing their homework, where mum and dad could still walk past and make sure that they were on the right program. Uh, parents will know exactly what I mean. So, extra storage along the hallway. And then as we make our way along, come to the bathroom and laundry, which is a pretty interesting configuration. So let me explain. So first thing is good sized laundry, extra storage. Plenty of room there for washer and dryer. Full size tub plus folding bench space. Then the bathroom is configured in a special unique way and that we have toilet. Then we have wash up and control area with plenty of bench space. Again, extra storage, extra storage again. And then around to full size bath and large size shower, okay? Now, the reason that we have the bath shower separate to our basin, and then again separate to the bathroom, was with multiple teens living in the house, the idea was that they didn't have to cross over each other when they were using these facilities. So, working our way back out, we're continuing along the hallway, so we head to the master retreat, Again, as you see, like I say, it's nice and dark outside, but still feels bright in the house. So first feature is the way in which the master retreat's done. I'm just gonna show you as I close it. So there's our hall down to the rest of the house. Once you close off, this is a genuine parental retreat. So I'm gonna start with, that's a queen in there with, you see, full size sides with plenty of room on either side. So it'll easily fit a king. Nice soft down lights all the way throughout this house. Nice clean palette, overhead fan. And then it steps out from the master bedroom to your own special little port. So, close that door, retreat from the kids, retreat from the rest, morning coffee out on the deck. And then when it comes to storage and so forth along here, we move along, full size walk-in robe. Plenty of space for hanging, plenty of space for racking. And then into your own ensuite. And again, good size shower in the ensuite. Plenty of bench space on the bench. 
And again, once you've got this shut away, you are basically shut off from the rest of the house. Parents retreat away, but if you do want to do your retreat, you can still look over the pool. If you've got the kids out there playing, it allows you to keep your eye on things as they are occurring. So we'll move our way back, we're back into the main hallway again. And then we turn to our first living space. So we've got here a oversized lounge, open style kitchen and separated dining. So to give you a feel of just how long this room is, there's a double and a double side by side. Still plenty of room, plenty of different configurations you could use for that. We'll turn our way to the kitchen, bespoke designed kitchen in this one. So plenty of storage, I'll talk about that in a moment. So dishwasher, oven, range hood, stainless steel splash bag to make keeping everything nice and clean, nice and easy. Again, plenty of bench space with the raised breakfast bar. And while they have a good size fridge in there at the moment, there is actually room there for double size fridge. Plenty of storage all the way around, as you can see, and then I uh, did mention they built it for themselves, so additional storage all the way along the back side of the kitchen. So again, as we look back from the main living room, you can see the dining here, easily holding a six to eight seat. And then to the separated family room, Again, still enjoying the high line ceilings, giving everything that nice, bright and breezy view. Again, plenty of space. Now you can see outside the deck, I'll step out there in a moment. So the deck runs the full length of this part of the house. Um, I would estimate that you'd be able to comfortably fit around about 40 odd people on there. It is rather large. feeling about this deck length. Again, that's a six seater quite comfortably. Bar up at the far end, still giving you all of this room. So entertaining, 21st, 18s, family, friends, Christmas, Easter, whatever, all good. So, step our way down outside, into a nice little yard, and two benches and four, starting with fitting Clement. Showing, I'm not joking. All right, so full storage area slash bench seat. Absolutely beautiful in ground pool, and I can tell you it is beautiful in ground pool. Decked all the way around, make it nice and easy, and nice and easy to walk on too. So you don't need to be worrying about sore feet or whatever as you come around. Cabana area, fully covered, the extra seats, and then. From there as we move our way around. Another entertaining area, fire pit. Uh, quite easily to set up here, so a couple of extra outdoor lounges or day beds, giving the entire feel for what it is to be this retreat entertaining at the back here. Around the pool, up along the rear deck on the other side of the house, also amongst all this entertaining space. Now, I did mention before, parents retreat. That is looking our way back into the parents' room now, where you have your own little port to sit out on, away from the rest of the family, the kids, whatever, and take your retreat. Just to show you. So there's our view, parents' retreat. I don't know if it's there, but it's gonna capture it well on the camera, but as you look through, you do actually see edges of the Gold Coast in Queensland. And then another quiet little retreat area at the back, out to the clothesline. You see in the distance there the storage shed, standard size garden shed, good size, uh, not small, but um, it providing also another little retreat space. Uh, they tell me that one of the daughters would sit here quietly reading when everyone else was a little too loud. So we'll work our way back down. Um, as you can see, fully fenced all the way around, nice and high. As you work your way around this lovely entertaining space again. There's one more room which I haven't been through yet and it is rather massive, so I'll show you that as our way through. Again, plenty of entertaining space. For those who love Queensland lifestyle, this house allows you to enjoy it in spades. 
nice and easily maintained yard. Let's walk along this soft decking. Again, showing that full size concrete pool. Nice grass area for the kids to run. And on our other side here, just to show, that does give you the side access, a little way from our owner. And we head our way back inside. So again, showing the full length deck. As you come in, you pick up the way that the polished floorboards just to a lovely reflect back of the down lights. See our fans. I didn't make the feature before, but good size air conditioning unit, which goes down majority of the house but again with those high line ceilings heat not really a problem and this one has been well designed for the environment in which we're in. So let's come back out through the family we'll head our way down to the pool room slash rumpus slash home office. So a separate entrance off the front and does open direct to the street and away we go. So This room doesn't quite do justice how big it is um, on the camera, but that is the same size pool table you'll see in a club, bar, whatever, um, and still plenty of room all around. The built-in cupboards, storage space, office setup reflects the fact that this was a home office and I'm in a home-based business, not just where you stack your computer. So it could easily turn to that again with direct access out to the street. Again, even in here, nine foot ceilings, so plenty of space. Now this can be your third living space, be it a rumpus, be it a whatever. It could be a great teens retreat, man cave, or office. So that takes us through. So again, we're at 37 Bridgepoint Drive in the suburb of Canubia. Um, for those who don't know it from here, we are around about a two minute drive, two and a half minute drive to the M1. A two and a half minute drive from the Logan Hyperdome, which is our local major shopping centre. <coughs> Walking distance to Chisholm Catholic College, St Matthews Catholic Primary School, Shaler Park High, Shaler Park State School. Uh, it's literally a, I'd say, a 90 second walk to the Canubia Shopping Centre, which is a Woolworths anchored centre along with cafe specialty stores. This is the view outside, just shows you how quiet this street is. Okay, uh, so four bedroom two bathroom, three living spaces, split level design, high level ceilings with in-ground swimming pool and plenty of space for the entire family. It's going to auction on the 24th of August, 6 p.m., which is Tuesday night, uh, being held at the Fitzies Conference Centre in Logan Home. Please contact me for details, 0420 620 760. Again, this is 37 Ridgepoint Drive in Cornubia in Queensland. Look forward to your interest and to showing you what a great property this is.